my name is uh, Tamara Gombe, and uh, I'm working on uh, urban land cover modeling. Uh, I'm doing uh, GIS and remote sensing. And uh, today I'm going to share with you one of the good model in urban land cover modeling and it is free it is open source and it's available online so you can use it so the model which i'm going to use to use it today and uh, which i'm going to share it, it is called a um, select model so i'm going to share with you where to get it and uh, how to test it say if it is working so to start with this model you can come here you can come and type uh, Giga, Giga policy projects. I already type it here. So this is the home page of that Giga policy project. So you buy this one. So you can see this is the home page, and then you can come with download. And downloading here, you see this is the latest uh, mode of uh, select model. And uh, this was the first model which developed in 1990 by Clark. And uh, these are several upgrades, and this, as I said, this is the latest one. And uh, me, I'm going to use it here. So when you click here, because I already downloaded it and installed it, when you click here, automatically it will download, come here, and then it is always it's coming in uh, zip file. So you have to unzip. Apart from that, this uh, website serves some several publication, as you can see. These are several publications that have been done, so you can observe and you can have time to have a look. And uh, also, there are very extensive discussion in place, this discussion from anything that you want to learn for about this service model. So this is, if you have a time, you can take your time and uh, come here and then learn a lot. Anyway, that is, uh, was, not, um, was not my objective of uh, of of uh, this video but uh, i will oh, i will only show you where to get this mode and how to start we can learn a lot from this site so let us go to, let us start how to use it and how to to start it so see <coughs> before you start um, a solid model it needs a certain environment and it needs sigwin environment so it is a c command line so you can use linux or you can use Sigwin. So you have to download the Sigwin and then install the Sigwin and then we'll have a terminal. Me already install it. So you can see other video video people which you have already shown how to download and to install the Sigwin. So you have to have it in your machine, if especially when you are using Windows. And this is my Sigwin terminal. And then uh, you have to make sure that you are Sales model you already that downloaded and put in C file and this is my sales model as you can see it. So let us open our Sigwin terminal and then you start your Sigwin and this is Sigwin. This is my Sigwin and then you find where you install your your, your sales model. In my case, I install it in uh, C. This is my sales model. So I click it and then copy it copy this model and put it in the change directory to select model directory that change directory now already changed now i'm in sales model and then after that i'm going to change directory again to ed which is a growth model and then i will make it make clean these are only procedure and then i will type make i'll make the clean on the file and then I'll change the record again to I will clean also while GIS make clean and then type make after that I'll go back to sell it itself and then I'll type make clean then make so 
So now we are ready to go and then um, to use our sales model to test our sales model. So test we always done in uh, scenario five. So we go to scenario, scenarios, scenario. So now we are in scenario five, and then we check which fi file um, we, uh, amount of file which is in scenario five by using ls as you can also we have experience using the Linux and that one. So now we have our several files because I have some pro pro project that I've already run. So I have to test my sales model if it is working well. So so you go, you type grow grow dot x test. So I have here we have some tests of land cover. This year I'm going to test this one. This is based on you, you when you download the model, it comes with this file. So I'm going to test it. Scenario dot demo land test. Okay. Oh, it's running. It's running. Oh, and the complete. Now we can come and see an output file. And they see this is a scenario file. We can see the output file and uh, come and see LAN test. Oh, this is the, our result. You see that it's running now. So after that one, so we can proceed again. We can proceed. We can test our, we can test to predict because also in that file, there is a um, prediction file. Predict, predict. We have to test this one. This also came with this file, so we have to test if it is working. It's predicting scenario dot demo to predict. And then we run. We type. Oh, it's running also. It's okay. So it means that our signal is working well, and it's also our program working. After that, we come again in the output file. We check how to predict, or predict to say, oh, now it is a bit predict. So we predict up to the land which was starting up to from uh, which year? 1991 up to 2010. So this is this is the model which is based in which this is um, examples which are available in the model. And this will show that this is land 1990, and, uh, and this is the predicted one 20. Ten. So that's is all. That's is all for today, and uh, that's is how we can use our um, sales model. We can we can run and uh, test it, and um, next time maybe I will help you to know to understand how we can edit now scenario file because that is the important part. How to edit now a scenario file and uh, how to run some calibration. Thank you. And uh, any comments? You can put it below so that we can share together to make sure that uh, we share this knowledge together for all of us. I think it is a good opportunity for us also to learn and then we will prepare other parts. So if anything that you need or any explanation, I'm ready to contribute from what I know. Thank you very much for watching.